Welcome to this lesson. We're going to investigate some specific cases of quadrilaterals, rhombuses, rectangles, and squares. So we're going to cover all these topics, all these theorems related to these, to those figures. So first thing, rhombus. Rhombus is an equilateral where all four sides are congruent to each other. And it has some more properties than that. So theorem 6.3 is going to state that if a parallelogram is a rhombus, then its diagonals are perpendicular. So I wrote, you know, the BD is perpendicular to AC. Okay. And not only are the perpendicular, uh, the diagonals perpendicular to each other on a rhombus, but the diagonals also bisect the opposite angles in the parallelogram. So if I quickly sketch a parallelogram, hang a second, I gotta. So if I quickly make a parallelogram, well, in a parallelogram, these opposite angles are congruent to each other. But in a rhombus, oh wait, let me show you. Hang on a second, I've got to draw a line here. If I draw a bisect, a, a diagonal, and another one, but really we only need the one. See, look at that angle right there. See that angle is smaller than that one there. So since it's so, you know, that's in a parallelogram. But see, in a rhombus, look, look, that angle here is congruent to that angle there. There, there. In fact, those four angles are congruent to each other. And see here, look, those, those two angles are congruent. So the diagonals bisect those opposite angles of the parallelogram. Okay. So I got a video of this, I think. Let's see if it plays. There it goes. So you can see as I drag that around, that point, that rhombus, the two um, diagonals are, can, are always perpendicular. They have the properties of a parallelogram, so they're always bisecting each other. And if you notice, the opposite angles are always bisected, no matter how that's dragged around. OK, let's move on. So now we're going to go on to a rectangle. Well, that's an equal angular quadrilateral all of the interior, interior angles are 90 degrees. And its special property is, is that the diagonals not only bisect each other, but each diagonal is congruent to each other. OK. And I think this video will play. Let's see. There it goes. So as that point is dragged around, it's always maintaining the properties of a rectangle. Now you see as it becomes a square, see there's your right angle there on the perpendiculars, on the, excuse me, on the diagonals. But see now, see those diagonals are no longer intersecting at a right angle because the sides aren't congruent. Okay, we're done. Let's move on to a square. A square is a regular quadrilateral. That means all the sides are congruent and all the interior angles are congruent. So you're going to see in a moment it has all the properties of a rhombus and all the properties of a rectangle. So see the diagonals are congruent and they bisect each other. The opposite angles are congruent. You know, it just covers all those properties. Um, Let's see. I think I got everything listed here. Let's see. Let's see. The diagonals are perpendicular. Yep. And let's see. The diagonals bisect the opposite angles. Not only does it bisect the opposite angles, all of those interior angles of that square are congruent. So therefore, all those bisected angles are all 45s. Every one of them. Okay. And the diagonals are bisected, and the diagonals are congruent. So that means this segment, and this segment, this segment, this segment are all the same length. OK, let's see if we got any math involved. Yeah, yeah, we got to answer some questions. So this is saying that the parallelogram is a rhombus. The diagonals are then perpendicular. So what's the measure of BEC? Uh, 90 degrees. OK, let's see. If parallelogram is a rhombus, then the diagonal bisects each pair of the opposite angles. So if I tell you the BCD is 52, 
equal, then that's 26. And so is that. And if ABC, ABC, if these, if that whole angle here is 128 and it's bisected, well then that's 64 and that's 64. And then I'm going to pause this video and quickly advance to not waste your time. See, all, I got, I placed all the angles and the measurements in the right places. Okay, let's move on. Well, let's see. If it's this uh, parallelogram is a rectangle, then its diagonals are congruent. So I gave you two expressions to represent the lengths of each diagonal. So then you set the lengths of each di of those two diagonals to each other, substitute in those expressions, and then solve for x. So let's see. Look, I subtracted x from both sides. I subtracted 5 from both sides. Then I divided both sides by 2. And that's it. Thank you for watching.